If you want to follow today's tutorial, you can learn how to add grain texture to your flat design illustrations in just a few steps. Hey, how's it going designers? Hope you're having an amazing end of the year. Since I'm going to have an upcoming vacation, I actually bought a few books that I wanted to share with you before we start the tutorial. So the first book is actually Grid Systems. I know this is more for print and I think it applies more to print, but I want to see if I can find ways to actually apply grid to the web as well. Then the second book would be Don't Make me think this is a revisited edition it's a pretty old book that shows common sense approach to web usability to actually make the web more usable for whoever visits it the next book is called building a story brand and this was actually recommended to me by a friend who's also a designer it should clarify how you can talk to your customers through unique brand messages and the final one is actually show your work by austin cleon this might look familiar because he also has another book that's called still like an artist it's a pretty interesting book where you can find out how to actually use references and inspiration to create your own unique designs but this one is how to share it with people and gives it a couple of tips on how to actually get over the fear of putting your work out there so this is a pretty interesting one i'm going to share all of these in the description below and maybe i can create a video on some of the tips that i found out while reading this one so let me know if you would be interested in the comment section below for this tutorial I'm actually going to start with this illustration. I actually found this illustration on Envato Elements and I wanted to share with you this tip that I learned from TNT Tutorials. That's a YouTube channel, which is a very similar channel than what I do on YouTube, where you can find different tips for Illustrator. I do recommend you checking it out. So for this tip, what you gotta do is to actually have the first shape that you wanna shade with grain. Actually hit Command C and Command F to paste in front. Once you have this copy, then you can actually apply a different color double click on the fill and make it darker then go to the transparency tool and actually create heat mask over here make sure to deselect the clip and then select the mask that way you can create a rectangle that goes on top of everything and we'll use actually this rectangle to actually shade up uh, different elements the way we're going to do that is pretty straightforward let's hit the gradient tab over here let's open it up and then you have the option to have a freeform gradient make sure to have the points enabled and by default you're going to have four different points select each one and actually remove two of them because we only need two to start with double click on the first one and make sure that it's white double click on the second one make sure that it's black that way you're going to actually be able to make changes in real time and have a gradient the way i want this illustration to look is to actually have these gradients that are light at the top and then the ones where you can actually see the darker shade below it let's select the first one and with it selected then you can create a couple of similar ones so as you can see all of these are white but we do need to connect them because all of them are individual points make sure to have the lines enabled click on the first one and make a connection between all of the other ones once you get to the end you can actually hit command and that's going to close that line off let's select this one and start developing new points along the way as you can see this already created it automatically and then hit v because you want to select it you have the mask selected go to the effect panel to texture and actually hit crane here you're going to have a couple of options you can play with the intensity and also the contrast if you want to have a smoother transition or a harder one it's up to you let's see this one hit okay and now you can see the grain over here so now the grain is pretty <laughs> is pretty apparent if you want to make any changes to the color that the grain is actually showing up all you gotta do is go to transparency select back the shape element and you can have the fill over here double click and once you'll start making changes you can actually see that all of those changes are done automatically to the shape that you're building if you enjoyed this quick tip make sure to like it and subscribe for more i'm actually going to continue and shade all of this illustration if you want to follow along thank you so much for watching